Tim, if don't... Don't leave. Not like that. Hell, you're gonna be family now. Yeah, you know, we got wine and... I mean... Let's just get high. Sure. That's, that's, good. that's a good plan. That's good. Um, that's... If I can stay... Well, folks, you saw it and you heard it for yourself last night, as well as the beginning of the video. So technically, if you missed out last night, you know, I'm not going to shame you if you missed the episode last night, because I think I tweeted out around 715. I'm going to I'm going to roll the dice. I'm going to gamble it. I want to close my eyes and take a nap. But I just, you know, sometimes you just need to rest your eyes. So I just sat in the dark for like 25, 30 minutes in my bed, just like resting if you will. I didn't sleep, but thankfully I was able to catch the episode. I would have been kicking myself because it was that good. Sure, maybe I would have woke up around 9, 30, 10, and then I would have watched another airing, but no, no, no. This was definitely an episode I thoroughly enjoyed chatting with everybody about on Twitter. And, you know, I, I mean, Crystal retweeted me, so, and she thought it was funny when I mentioned the Black Widow thing. So for me, that was like, that made my, that made my day my week actually but now without a shadow of a doubt i feel like we can truly say or i could truly say because i've been saying for a while i don't care that crystal was added to the opening credits of the um of the episode or excuse me of the theme song the opening credits of the uh, show itself during the season three I think that it was like maybe the first one or two episodes. I don't remember. It was kind of an uproar. It's like, wait a minute. How come Fatima isn't in the opening credits? They're still using his season two credits. But then I think around episode two or three is when it got upgraded and Fatima was added to it. And from there, I'm like, eh. Now nah, I'm glad she got a, you know, main role or um, uh, uh, what's the word? You go from a recurring cast to a ser series regular series regular i'm like I, i'm glad she got it but even though she's in the opening i don't count her as a sister as of last night season four episode eight entitled the sister i think it is official that she is part of the group especially when she returned home i i cannot get over deval being so lucky to have or excuse me zach excuse me zach let me say it right zach Zach was so lucky to have Fatima just come into the bathroom with that black shoe on saying, hey, I'm going to take a shower. Lord have mercy. I'm good. I know how to hold my own. I can tell. Dressed in all black. Yeah. So how did it go? Zach, you know what? I, I really like those girls. Even Karen. Even Karen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess she can be sweet when she want to be. <laughs> Yeah, she can be. She tried me, though. She did. Really? Uh-huh. She didn't know that you had told me that she was pregnant. Yeah, the way she expressed how she actually enjoyed her time, as well as, you know, getting to know the girls and Karen, I feel like it's official that, yeah, she's going to be part of the group. And if you ask me, I feel like this further solidifies that even though Zach and Fatima are going to have their own spinoff, that pretty much still tethers Fatima to the main cast where, yeah, Fatima's not on the... Oh, excuse, no, 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 let me rephrase that. Yeah, Zatima will have their own thing going off on BE... Going on in BET+. Plus. But, given that she's on good terms with the group now, she'll definitely be part of them. So, yeah, I guess that really is solidifying that Zach and Fatima will still be in the show. But I still say if they weren't in like season five as much, that would do good to allow the other women to get stronger storylines to not always be overshadowed by Zack and Fatima. But that's just my opinion. And I think one of my favorite moments was I think it was when was it Danny or Andy? I forgot who, but they were like, we need to change the subject. Let's not talk about Zack because there's a lot more going on. And I just love, you know, the moments where they go from the couch to the kitchen and sit or in stand because there's just so much to die uh sec from that alone i mean for me <laughs> it's funny because i think danny was the one hey let's just get high and then 
Fatima was like, that sounds like a good idea if that's okay. And then they all turn their head to Karen and she's like, show, show. Like, okay, it's like, part of me, you know, I, I see how some people can think, and I've thought this at times too, that it's like, oh man, Karen's like the leader of the sisters. It's like she has to agree before they do anything. I think it was like, well, look, Fatima and Karen just kind of, came to an understanding slash squash their tension and animosity towards each other. So as a result, um, you know, it's best not to move too fast. But also, you can tell it's like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Democracy where the girls have to vote before anything goes down. So uh, if something makes somebody else uncomfortable, they're not going to do it. But I just love the fact that it's like, you know what, Karen's like, show. But then you move to the kitchen, and I just love the way that Tyler... Well, I'm assuming, you know, since Tyler's the writer, director, producer, he's the one that, you know, he got the women to position themselves in a certain way. Like, I just love the fact, okay, you got Andy on one side of, like, you know, the island in the kitchen, obviously, you know, this is her penthouse, so she's the one getting the drinks, and Danny's on the other side, you know, um, getting some of the glasses, having a good time, and on the other side, because I was like, wait a minute, there are three seats there, so how, how are people going to sit? So you got Sabrina sitting down first, you got Fatima sitting at the far end, and then there's the one seat in between them, I'm like, I know Karen, I don't know if she's going to sit there, but no, Karen stands off to the side with her arms crossed, because I do feel like, you know, she does feel like she's kind of isolating herself. She's with the group, but then she's on her own, so to speak. And it's a very, very interesting uh, dynamic because when you look at the way they're positioned, technically she's still close to Fatima, but she's still far away from the other women. So I said this in my review. I love that this moment happened. I mean, there was a great moment that was like, what, all but three minutes long if that but it just showcased that not every minute of the show has to be full of drama and tension you need we need these chill moments if it's just action action drama drama it gets old fast but to actually have the characters interact and it's like hey let's not just make everything about zach and fatima let's just talk about the other dynamics going on with the women and their men because something um I just noticed because I'm actually watching the scene while I'm talking about it on mute. It looks like uh, Karen was going for the far seat, but then Sabrina took it first. And then from there, she's literally between Fatima and um, Sabrina. And from there, I don't know like what makes her decide to, but I'm guessing because she knows like, nah, I don't want to sit beside Fatima. She decides to walk off to the side. So yeah, I just wanted to say... This was great. I love the scene. So in my, you know, I, I'll officially address Fatima as one of the sisters now. But that that's really all I had to say. Great scene. And I can't wait to do a full breakdown video on it. Um, you know, the girls teasing each other, you know, mainly uh, Danny and the whole Calvin situation. And um, oh, yeah, that's right. Fatima just then found out that Gary was the one who was behind the penthouse. There's just so much to unpack. And I think Danny or Andy's like, girl, there's a lot we need to catch you up on. Because I think they mentioned like the Rolls Royce and everything, but shit, man, I love this. I mean, I, I'm not going to lie, and I'm not just saying this, you know, out of like, you know, uh, blissful, hey, I, I'm blissfully high off the episode because I enjoyed it that much. If like the next 15 minutes of the episode was just the girls chilling in the kitchen, just, you know, talking, I would have been cool with that. And I'm, and I'm serious here. I would have been cool with it. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Uh, hit the thumbs up button to show you like the video. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon and select all. That way you are up to date whenever I post content on the channel. And I know some, a lot of people, you know, have always been calling Fatima a sister. But now I can officially join that squad. Uh, donate, PayPal, Cash App if you would like. You don't have to because you watching this video certainly, certainly does a lot more good than you realize. And if there are any other topics you want me to discuss, feel free to let me know in the comment section below or hit me up on Twitter or Instagram.